The construction industry is dynamic and ever evolving. As we continue to strive for excellence and safety, it's imperative that we continue learning. Some of the most effective methods of on-the-job training include hands-on demonstration led by experienced team members or outside industry experts. On-the-job safety demonstrations should be engaging, educational, and fun. Here are a few examples to consider. Review the history of the hard hat, current head injury statistics, and why much of the industry is moving toward better head protection. Bring in examples of modern helmets and review the benefits of each. If your company has already adopted the use of helmets, ask your crews why they are glad to be wearing a safety helmet rather than a traditional hard hat. If your company is still considering whether to make the change, ask, what, if anything, are your reservations about safety helmets? Set up hand and power tool safety demonstrations. Have experienced team members lead interactive presentations on how to safely use each tool. Review safe body positioning, the use of safety devices like guards and support handles attachments for mitigating silica dust, and the proper PPE to be used for each. Set up a variety of heavy equipment on your site. Break into groups and choose key crew members to lead demonstrations on heavy equipment safety. What is it like to be in the operator's seat? Where are the blind spots? What precautions must we all take to remain safe around heavy equipment? This is a great discussion to hold for operators and non-operators alike. Hold a safety inspection competition. Set up a mock job site with numerous safety infractions. Break into teams and compete for who can find the most safety issues. The winning team is not only the one who finds the most infractions, but also identifies the proper controls that should be in place. This week is also OSHA's Fall Safety Stand Down Week. So let's join efforts to make our projects and workers safer. Set up a demonstration on personal fall arrest system fundamentals. Review harness fitment, inspection, and use as well as lanyard selection limitations and fall clearance requirements. You may even perform a controlled drop with a mannequin or invite a local vendor or distributor out for fall protection demonstration. Let's talk about our health and wellness by inviting outside speakers, nutritionalists, wellness coaches, or personal trainers to our job sites. Focus on the realities of our work, which can include long hours, shift work, long commutes. What practical steps we can take to improve our mental and physical health. Invite experts in mental health and suicide prevention to share practical methods to offer supportive and compassionate responses to someone in need. If your company offers an employee assistance program, let your team members know all the benefits available. Do your team members know what to do in an emergency, whether it's a fire, flood, tornado, hurricane, or even a confined space rescue? Now is a good time to review and practice your plan. Whether you are new to the industry or have decades of experience, continuing education is paramount to your success and your safety. So get out there, get involved. Continue improving, continue sharing, and always continue learning. For more ideas on how to lead effective safety demonstration, visit constructionsafetyweek.com.